course, my producer. Um, he is the one who orchestrates all of that and makes it all Yay. happen. And uh, so he's an amazing producer, and I always have to give big ups to him whenever all I do right. this. He makes me makes me sound good. And then also, you know, my producer, Daryl Swan, who um, produces me vocally and then also mixes and masters uh, what we do. And it, mm-hmm. all that makes a make big difference in what product I actually deliver uh, to my audience. So, yeah, I'm just hoping they'll buy the CD, <laughs> number one, and listen and just enjoy the music. And, uh, you know, my mother always says, you know, my voice makes people stop and listen. So hopefully yeah. they'll, they'll just stop and listen. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And I think that's, that's uh, the love of music is what people should really uh, turn to nowadays because we're de- mm-hmm. dealing with trials and tribulations right now, and um, mm-hmm. music and uh, can make you feel good. The voice, the melody, and all that good stuff in there will take all your worries away, melted away. That's what it does to me. And Castella, when mm-hmm. I heard you uh, singing all these new singles, I had goosebumps up both my arms. Aww. And I was like, <laughs> oh, my God, that, she did it. So that's what I got out of out of your music so as we move along um go ahead and give your website information and besides thank you for that answer i appreciate it give your website information and your social media information so our curious listeners out there can follow up with you okay well my website is castellamusic.com real easy c-a-s-t-e-l-l-a music m u s i c dot com and um and actually, if you go to my website, um you can find all of my social media links there um but uh if you won't find me on um uh, facebook castella castella or my um fan page is cast miss castella music <laughs> um and uh on instagram i'm castella music and on uh, twitter i'm castella music, so pretty consistent across the board. Uh, with that, but castellamusic.com is the website. And All also right. YouTube you. is also Castella Music. All right, and thank you for that information. Besides, I want to mm-hmm. uh, mention your uh, online store that's included mm-hmm. on the website. Now, yes. the question I would like to ask you, Seth, the t-shirts, are you going to put mm-hmm. any of the uh, recent hits, singles on any of your t-shirts? You know, I'm working on that as we speak. Oh, that would be awesome. I'm going I'm that yep. I'm actually gonna put uh the So Into You yes. that album on a shirt. <laughs> yes. So do that's it. gonna be my merch. Yes, that's what I yes, plan to do. do yes. Do it, yeah. <laughs> do it. Uh-huh. Yeah, man, I guarantee you it will be sold out. Oh so, yeah, you think so? I believe oh. so. Because that motto, it could go many different directions. And not only that, it sounds good. You know, your your voice uh, and the music, the album, it sounds good. Mm-hmm. So it could go many directions on that T shirt. Oh uh, so that's yeah, just well, my thank you. Uh yeah, so well, that anyway, was definitely in my plans. <laughs> all right, great. And let me know when the uh pretty machine starts up and uh you, you got the shirts wet and ready. I I'm gonna get one, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. right. That's that's what I'm hoping. So yeah. the main question I'd like to ask you, Castella, are you open for bookings? Yes, I am. Absolutely. All right. All right, yeah. everyone. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it. Yep. Call and, me uh, the Castella Music. That's, you can call me and uh, <laughs> I book directly. So, you know, we can work out any any kinks or whatever the case may be, and we can make it happen. <laughs> All right, area code 216, go ahead and speak. State your name, please. Well, hello, my name is Bob Ivory, coming from the 216, which would be Cleveland, Ohio. All right, then. Hey, Bobby. (laughs) What's good? What's good? I thought I missed you. I had an event, and I just ended. I was like, oh, did I miss it? No, you made it just in time. Yes, oh now Bobby cool. Bob is a Bob is a, a, a recording artist also. You should have him on your show if he hadn't already. He's oh, amazing. Come on with it. Come on with <laughs> it. Oh, for calling in. Come on. Shameless, shameless plug. I love them shameless come plugs. Come on I like with that. it. <laughs> yes. Uh, send it to me. Come on with it, Cleveland, Ohio. 
I ain't had them to Cleveland, Ohio in a minute now. Okay. We'll okay. Bring it down. All right, now right. bring it. All right. All right. So as we uh thank you for calling thank in, you. by the way. Sure. Thank sure. you. Thank you, Bob. Thanks for calling yes. in. All right, Bob. You. Okay. Absolutely. So uh right. Castella, any upcoming mm-hmm. events and uh future events you would like to mention? Well, you know what? I I am what you call probably the resident uh <clears throat> one of the resident national anthem singers for my uh my alma mater, Cal State Long Beach. So I do that from time to time. Okay. Um, I believe I'm gonna be doing a, a charity event um in, in March. Um but I my calendar and I think I have something scheduled way out in October. Um but I am open. Um, I don't really have anything going on right now at this okay. moment. Um, but, you know, I, I'm still actually still kind of on a high from my event that happened on February 11th, <laughs> which was that Super Bowl. Event. Yeah. But you've been um, getting it since uh, for January 1st. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I'm just kind of, um, you know, hoping to book some stuff here locally. Um, just really, you know, I've updated my um, EPK, my electronic press kit. And uh, just starting to send that out to different uh, venues to see if I can get on and, uh, you know, perform my show and, um, you know, bring my band, you know, because my band is slamming. I had some of the, some amazing um, musicians with me um, in February. um, And I just, you know, I saw them at another show and uh, they were still kind of like, man, we had such a good time with you. And I'm like, guys, I'm just trying to get us, find another stage for us to, you know, hit again. Because we had mm-hmm. so much fun, um, so that's what I'm doing. This is where the grind comes in, the work comes in, and okay. you know, trying to get myself booked. Um, like I, like I said, I don't, I, I'm booking myself, and okay. so, um, so it, it's just work. Um, you know, just okay. trying to get people to have, express the interest. So if you're out in your town and you're listening to this interview, um, and you want to hear me, and you know someone that has a venue, tell them to call me. <laughs> I will gladly come to your town. And, well, uh, I will make know. sure. I will mention it to WJBC here in Evansville, Indiana, the R&B and hip hop radio station uh, that I am Mm -hmm. on. They will play Mm -hmm. this show on the radio station and I will mention your name and I will send them your music. So um, please do. And and I think I can do pretty good in Evansville (laughs) because I have family in Evansville. So. I would love mm-hmm. to try to get you down here to perform. And um, uh, March 5th uh, next month is National R&B Month. How oh, about nice. That? Yeah. They nice. named it uh, March 5th is National R&B Month, and you fall right in that category, Castella. Yes, uh, I so, do. Yes, you do. So I just want to mention that. But, yes, thank you for the information, Castella, about your uh, mm-hmm. bookings is open. So I'm quite sure there are a lot of uh, listeners that will spread the word. And uh, I would like yes. to ask you this. Uh, any mm-hmm. other future projects in, in music that you uh, got in store? Uh, you know, making any new uh, music videos uh, in the future? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I... This is one of <laughs> Well, I'm hoping at some point I, w- I would love to do a video for So Into You. I have this uh, cool concept that I want to put out. I do have a video for funny, My Funny Valentine, so if you haven't seen it, please go over to my YouTube channel and take a look at it, share it with your friends. I um, would like to get my views up on that video. Um, mm-hmm. My son actually shot the video, that one, and Let Me Love You. So, yeah, go check it out. Um, I'm collaborating with a, a few people right now on some stuff. You know, people want to get me on their projects. So I'm like, hey, let's let's make that happen. And then I am also um, considering working on a Christmas, some Christmas stuff, and then an inspirational um, album or EP with a few songs that I've written already that are more um, inspirational in, in nature, um, you know, because I'm, a, I'm a, a gospel singer at heart. Um, that's where I got all my um, my training and and so forth, and that's where I, I discovered that I that I sing is in church. So um, God did give me a few uh, inspirational songs that I really need to uh, release, and uh, so that's what I'm kind of working on right now. All right, and, um, well, thank you for that. Yeah, thank so you. a lot of irons in the fire, and you know, trying to figure it all out and 
again, all this stuff costs, you know, costs money to do. So you yeah. really have to, as a, as a business owner, I have to make smart decisions on, you know, what I want to do and where I would need to put my resources. Um, yeah. There's a, there's a lot. Yeah. There's a lot. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you for that good information. So you're more than welcome right now to give a shout out to all those lovely people that have supported you in the making mm-hmm. and creating this EP. Go right ahead. Oh, well, before I go into that, I want to thank uh, Karima and Ron and Bobby for calling in and saying hello to me. Thank you guys so much for that. Um, as far as the music goes, of course, I always give a shout out to my uh, my producers, uh, Jeff Kennedy and, and Daryl Swan. Uh, mm-hmm. Those two are, you know, very instrumental in getting the work done. Um, you know, all of my musicians um, that Jeff puts together, you know, uh, Wayne Gerard Milton, Daryl Smith, and Chris Coldish, they all played on So Into You. And then there's LaShawn Gary, who played on um, uh, Let Me Love You. And it's just, you know, there's so many, um, you know, so many folks I have. What, um, let's see, Joe Foster uh, played on a guitar on My Funny Valentine. He did that solo there. Um, yeah, and LaShawn Gary played keys on My Funny Valentine. And, and uh, so, yeah, that, those are my guys, and I just want to, you know, of course, thank thank my my husband and my kids and my mom and my brothers and uh, just all my family members who support me and uh, that have been just going on this crazy ride with me, <laughs> you know. Yeah. And uh, just let me do my thing. Um, yeah, and then you know the, my church members that support me. Um, you know, there's, you know, it's it's amazing to, you know, you know, I think back in the day if you sang music that wasn't, you know the gospel music, you know, you kind of yeah. got found, looked down upon. But, you know, my church members are like, hey, <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep yeah. going. So it's just nice to have that support from um, from all sides. So, yeah, so, yeah. All right. Well, let's, <laughs> let's give them a, a applause uh, for supporting you and the people are supporting you in your project. So as we come into a close to the end of the show, I will be mm-hmm. playing two other singles, Let Me Love You, and So Glad mm-hmm. I Met You. Um, yeah. Is there any uh, words you want to elaborate, uh, the story behind the music on those two singles? Oh, man. Um, I, of course, I wrote those two. So the EP includes yeah. those two original songs. And also... There is a, a remix of So Glad I Met You on there. I, I um, connected with um, a French producer um, who asked me to remix it. His name is Tom Glide. So that's also on my EP. And I do have those for sale. And I have, you know, liner notes in there and everything. So you can kind of kind of get an idea as to, you know, why, you know, I chose the songs I did. You know, again, uh, going back to So Into You is a, a cover by the Atlanta Rhythm Section, which is a, yeah. a, a classic a classic 70s rock band. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and the song did really well for them. But, um, again, Let Me Love You um, was a song I wrote. And, uh, again, that was – I found Jeff through that. And just, you know, the, the idea of wanting to see someone that you, you love and, yeah. and, uh, and just loving up on them. That's what that song, The Gist of That, is about. And um, so glad I met you is it's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so glad yeah. I met people. But you need really, to put you know, that on a t-shirt too. <laughs> no, I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I yeah. just, I just, I try to write about happy, happy things, and yeah. um, you know, and and that's just the vein I was in at that time when I was doing that songwriting, and so yeah, just kind of, kind of speaks to where I was at at that time in my life. I love your music. I love your personality, your actions. Uh, thank you, Brenda. Vibes. Uh, you're just one of a kind. I mean, we need people like you Aww. in this world. I appreciate you coming <laughs> back you. on my show. Uh, well, your thank you for having me back. And time. Oh, man, it was like you was all over the place. I'm like, how am I going to get this girl in here? You know, so <laughs> I, I really well, yeah, appreciate we made it. Work. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it, Castella. Thank you so much. Any words no, of encouragement you. you would like to give uh, for persons that are still dealing with dark times? Any encouraging words you want to give? It's crazy. That's what one of the, the song, one of the inspirational songs that I have was a song that I wrote when I was kind of going through, um, you know, a, a dark time, you know, and it's, 
you know, just always just, just stay encouraged. Um, I don't want to give away the title of my song, <laughs> but, you know, it's just stay encouraged. and. Then-